you, buckaroos. This your old pal Gabby Hayes coming at you with another one of them rip-roaring western yarns. <laughs> You're darn tootin'. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. You know, buggeroos, I took a little trip up north last winter, and was it cold. All the lakes was froze over, and there was a lot of folks skating on them, you know. Well, that kind of reminded me of an old uncle of mine. Silver Skate Hayes, he was known as. Greatest skater the world has ever known, human or otherwise. He was the fastest skater in the world, too. But I guess his best skating was that figure skating. You know, that's the fancy stuff where they make the figure eights. Well, my uncle, he'd make figure eights, nines, tens, six and seven eights, anything like that at all. Of course, he had to practice a lot, and he had to have a special rink, so he built his own. Well, sir, I can't tell you how big it was. Well, it took a Pony Express rider four days to go across it. Well, he got it all shining up nice, and all of a sudden a big windstorm come on picked up all of that ice and it went sailing right up towards the North Pole. Then down it come, landed. And you want to know something? It's right there to this very day. Yes, sir. Folks call it Iceland. <clears throat> no. Well, I guess we better get along with today's yarn. It seems that uh, an escaped convict by the name of Rip Caxon was having his own way down in the Silver Springs until the law sent in a United States Marshal by the name of Eddie Dean and his helper, Soapy. <laughs> well, Soapy got himself thrown in jail. <laughs> Can I have a little talk with you? Sure. Sit down. How's business, Mr. Varney? Fine, fine. Good whiskey, clean games. I'm showing them how to run a business strictly on a level and still make money. Got any sideline? You mean like the hotel part of the saloon? I mean like appointing the sheriff who takes his law from someplace besides the law book. I don't get you. Barney, you knew all along the man you locked up wasn't Rip Caxton. So somebody must have ordered you to do it. Who was it? Look out, won't you? You can't come in here. I can if the U.S. Marshal sends me. You've got nothing on me. I run a strictly legitimate place. It looks like somebody else has. Maybe when I round up Caxton, you'll have a little company on that long trip. How long have you been going under the name of Barney? to keep his nose out of other people's business. What happened, Mr. Barney? Never mind. The cowhand you arrested and this hombre are both working for the marshal. Marshal's man? Then the man I just threw in the jug isn't Rip Caxton. No, you chump. We're going out to have a talk with Rip Caxton right now. Tie him up good, Sam, and lock him in the office. Come on.
I told you there'd be trouble. Now we've got the U.S. Marshal's man on our tail. Cool off, Barney. What's the matter with your sidekick? He ain't scared, is he? Take it easy. We're still in business. Only you're too jumpy to run it anymore. From here on out, I'm calling the play. Sit down. Now look. What happened to you? Run into Rattlesnake's nest. Serves you right for letting me down. It was a bad deal, Toby, but I couldn't let on I knew you. Well, you didn't have to put on such a good act. You've got me believing I am Rip Caxton. Listen, Toby, Bill Delver's been framed and killed. Yeah, I know. But what I want to know is, how do I get out of here? I'll get you out as soon as I find the sheriff. Well, you better hurry up and find him quick. All right. Now, you wait right here till I locate him. You darn right I'll wait right here till you locate him. Where else could I go? I tell you, I don't want any part of a killing. All you have to do is like I said, and leave the rest to me. Count me out. You've got an awful short memory, Barney. You're forgetting I know who you really are. Well, if Barney and that sheriff of his was wondering who was boss, they could stop wondering. Rip Caxon was taking over. In fact, he was taking over everything, including the Debris Ranch from Martha. I reckon he wasn't satisfied with just shooting her dad. I couldn't find either of them. That Marshall man got away, boss. Thought I told you to tie him up good. I did. I'll bet you did. Now, you know what to do, but watch your step. That Marshall's man is on the loose. We better get out to that shack in Cobra Canyon right away. Shack in Cobra Canyon. You know where that is? Well, that's mighty nice of you, Sheriff. 
Yeah, I know where Cobley Canyon is, but I don't remember any shack. And it's down the first floor after you get into the canyon. You can't miss it. By the way, your horse is out and back. Thanks again, Sheriff. Don't mention it. Oh, Sheriff, I'm sorry for the way that I stepped on your toe coming out of the saloon. Oh, that's all right. Here's your gun. Fine. And as I was saying, Sheriff, I am sorry the way that I stepped on your toe coming out of the saloon. I didn't step on it hard enough. been spoiling for a little barehanded treatment. prisoner. I don't know. He got away. Don't give me that. Barney was just here. You two fixed up something. Now, what was it? Well, he found out he wasn't Rip Caxton. Said to let him go. That's all. Found out. He knew all along he wasn't Rip Caxton. Now, start talking fast. Well, Barney made a mistake. That's all I know. I swear. Now, what did you and Barney fix up? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. Oh. All right. Rip Caxton's figuring to get rid of the Debris girl and frame your partner for it. Where's all this taking place? Every ranch. Or he rode off the other way. In case you were watching, he figured to throw you off. You're lying, Hookin. I swear I'm not lying. I told you everything. Well, I reckon Rip Jackson was set to get his own way, and he figured he had a perfect plan. He was fixing to get rid of two birds with one stone. Well, them two birds was Eddie Deal's pal, Soapy, and Miss Martha Devery. Of course, he was kind of counting his birds before they was hatched. You won't get away with it, Caxton. There's a marshal's man in town. He knows who you are. Everybody knows who I am, miss. Only nobody around here has ever seen my face. When they do, they'll see a smart-looking gent who moved into the Devery Ranch. You'll have to kill me before you can move into my ranch. Well, that was the original idea, ma'am. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. Must have taken a shortcut. Don't you understand? It won't work. The marshal's man knows. You told him? But I didn't know that. Save it. I'll take care of you later. You ain't backing out now. Oh, no? Maybe my men will have something to say about that. You mean me. Double-crossing me, huh, Barney? Did he tell you who you were working for? Sure. He told me and the boys to ride for him and nobody else. He's a liar. I knew trusting you was like pouring good whiskey down a drain pipe. You dirty double-crossing. <laughs> 
Don't tell me you couldn't help telling that marshal man everything you knew. Let me go, Caxton. I swear I'll get that marshal's man. I know where he went. You're staying right here. I've got some use for you later. <laughs> Good place to hide out in. Damn. Put her on a horse and let her ride. I'll give her three to get going before I draw on fire. Lesson, Caxton. Take this rope off of me and let's go at it fair. the men, all right. Watch your fire. Miss Devery's in there.
Rub your hands and come out, Jackson. Come on out, Jackson. We got you covered. Finish, Caston. Come on out, or we're coming in. Stay close to this gun, or you're a dead woman. Now start walking. Stay close. Make another move, and I'll kill the girl. Hey, that was quite a yarn, wasn't it, huh? Real exciting. You know, that Eddie Dean's quite an athlete. He reminds me of an old uncle of mine. Great athlete. Sailfish Hayes, he was known as. Greatest swimmer the world has ever known. Why, he was the only man ever lived could swim underwater for two days without coming up for air. Yes, sir. Of course, he, he, he liked to swim with them sailfish because they was fast. One time he had a race with them. They were swimming along, oh, I should say, seven or eight hundred miles an hour. And all of a sudden, the sailfish come right out of the water and flew up in the air. Well, it was going so fast, you know, my uncle couldn't stop. He kept right on going, run right into a strip of land, kept right on going, never stopped till he got to the Pacific Ocean. And you want to know something? That ditch he dug right there to this very day? Yes, sir. Folks calls it the Panama Canal. Yeah. Yeah. 